Welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're talking G30 900, G35 900. So we have 76 millimeter extrusor compressors coupled together with the new G30 arrows on the turbine and a G35 aero on the turbine side. Same bearing housings, same horsepower capability, different turbine wheel. Let's get these boxes open, let's put them next to each other, let's go over some, some of the specs. So first up is the 3900 and next is going to be the bigger brother the 35900 so essentially as I take the 35900 out I'm just going to talk a little bit about what's going on in terms of the specifications the 35900 is essentially the successor to the GTX 3576 now that comes primarily because of the fact that the extrusor of the compressor wheel is 76 millimeters the G 3900 is the successor to the GTX 3076 Gen 2. Now, let's have a look at once these turbos are unpacked, I'll start talking about horsepower, arrows, and then we'll do a comparison to the predecessors of the turbos that these replace. Right, so we have the G30 900 over here, the G35. 900 over there now ignore the turbine shafts for now have a look at the housings and the back plate housings are exactly the same bearing housings are exactly the same together with the integrated back plate let's turn these over and we'll get to the turbines now compressor wheel to compressor wheel 100% identical compressor housing same speed sensor port same everything on the rotating assemblies are identical between these two turbochargers. The only difference is your turbine wheel. So that will give you a better idea. These are clean sheet turbines. They are not the same aerodynamic design as your GTX 35 and your GTX 30. These are G30s, totally revised turbine arrows on both of them. The only difference is 30, 35. Now, they flow the same amount in terms of horsepower and pounds per minute of airflow because of the compressor stage. And if we have a look at the, 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 the predecessors, on the GTX 3076, it previously made 750 horse capable. It now makes 900. The predecessor on the GTX 3576, I'm not sure what the actual horsepower was, but this is now obviously up to 900. I don't believe it was more than 750. I'll double check that and I'll uh, put an excerpt of the actual Garrett catalog into the video shortly. But why would you use a 30 over a 35 or vice versa? Now, the only difference between them, as we've already discussed, is the turbine wheel. Let's say you've got a small engine, you've got a 1600 engine, you're revving it high, you need some form of decent boost response because it's a street and or drag car, um, or it's a circuit racer, high horsepower circuit racer, or for that matter, it's a small engine, high horsepower drift car, where you need some form of response. You would use the 30. Because of the turbine and the response, the linear response you're going to get from the 30 turbine and the AR61 turbine housing, V-band in and out, they stay in a steel. Obviously, these are just super cores, but you can couple them together with whatever housing you want. Um, as opposed to, let's say you have a slightly larger engine and you don't want this peaky uh, on-off type response that you might get from a 30. Um, so you'd go for a slightly larger turbine to give you a little bit more of a linear response on a slightly larger engine and still allow the power to be held all the way through a higher RPM range. So for AGE, for example, revving high, let's say 8,500, 9,000 RPM, you'd go for the 30. If you're running, let's say, for example, a 2J on a street application where you want some form of decent response, but at the same time you want to make just short of 1,000 horse, you'd go for the 35. Actual packages and the size, physical dimensions in terms of uh, a geography that you need under the hood or real estate under the hood that you need to install these turbos, identical. 
Uh, turbines, turbine housings are identical in the physical dimensions from flange to flange, uh, outside dimensions, etc. The only difference is the actual machine, it, the machining that takes place inside of the housing to cater for the two turbine wheels. That's pretty much that on the 35900 and the 3900 G series. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Any questions, post them below. See you next time.